All right. Let's see where this door takes us. Isn't that right, Bucket Hat? We're back to being a cat. Look at all these dirt guys. They will eat us. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He'll know that you're a friend. What a lovely badge. <laughs> Goodbye, Seamus. I love you, brother. Finally, that guy's gone. He was annoying. Dead end. Woohoo! It doesn't matter, because I'm a cat. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, so many creatures. Ah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We are incredible, I gotta say. Um, where do I go from here? Oh. Um. Oh, we're controlling this. Where am I? Dadgummit, now Ruben's on seven lives. Yeah, just lick it off. <laughs> Instead of walk it off, just lick it off. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh, it's Doc. You're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Yes. I wish I could go back home and miss my son dearly. I have no idea how to escape this place. Well, it's quite easy. We need a battery, sir. And, uh... <laughs> that smiley face is not going to help anyone. Be careful of my defluxer. That sounds like something Flit Lockwood would make up. <laughs> so the thing won't start, and we need a fuels to make it work. Okay. Well, I need a fuse any- Oh gosh, Sven. You're so... Beautiful. Oh, he, g he just gave us a fuse. Now we can start up the generator, that's amazing. Thank you, friend. Use the generator-ator. Really? You, you've been afraid to do what I just did? It's bringing out all of our friends. Oh! Oh, they're afraid of the light. That's right. Thanks, friend. Okay, so as long as we're careful, we can stay in the light. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, I get it. You're happy, Doc. Could you calm down a little bit? Have you seen how powerful the, the Fluxer is? I know, man, you melted them. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount the Fluxer on to your drone. That would be so helpful. The Fluxer is now installed in the fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. So if you use it too much, it could malfunction. Well, there's some foreshadowing for you. Oh. Did I already break it? So there's a bar right next to Sven for how long we can use it. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Spy Ruben, here to save the day. Spy Ruben does what everybody says. La da dee dee, la da da do, la da dee da. <gasps> Oh crap, 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 crap. Space crabs. Oh gosh. Wait a minute. Hurry, Sven, he's getting up. <laughs> oh no, Doc. Hurry up, Doc. Um. Oh crap, 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 crap. Eh. Oh gosh, that, that one is huge. Phew, that was close. Let's get back home. Okay. I'm a cat, 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 I'm a cat. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Oh, he found his son. Everything is happy again. 
Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see Seamus no longer alone. Moma has been waiting for you by the sewers. Finally, we get to leave. <gasps> we get to go on a boat ride. I hope Momo doesn't die. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, now we can go to Zabatha Bazaar. Let's go. Gosh, this place is disgusting. What? You have something you want to tell me, Momo? I don't see a way to open this gate. Can you look on the other side? Of course, friend. Let me just hop and hop. I right, finally were away from that guy. Oh gosh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah, this is a much smarter strategy for this. Come on, Momo. We got places to be. People to save. And catnip to eat. Ah, crapple. All this old machinery is broken now and I think we can only open the door manually. How are we gonna do that? We're not Hercules. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a while. Okay. When you find Seba the Bazaar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Wait, you're not gonna die, but okay, bye. I love you, Momo. Maybe we should run, considering we're 100% in a nest. Have you guys ever played Portal? Uh, Cause like, they remind me of those robots with the one eyes just looking at me right there. That's what I'm feeling right now. Gosh, so many pimples to pop. It's ridiculous. This is 100% the strat, just like pop all the pimples back up and then do it again. All right. Oh gosh, darn it. Yeah, everybody line up for your we weekly pimple popping. <laughs> oh gosh, that is so satisfying. Oh, I see you. <laughs> oh gosh, there are a lot. Do I have to pop all these eyes? Okay, that didn't do anything. This is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Why is this here? Why? It doesn't need to be here. It's unnecessary and unwanted. This feels like if the game Lil Nightmares met Alien Isolation. <laughs> That's what it feels like right now. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Uh, why am I here? What what was the purpose? Can I not, do I not need to go over there? Okay, well, that's fantastic. Do we have the access codes to open this door? I guess we do. Is it going to open is the question. Oh, we gotta go on that side too. Got it. And we've just awoken to everything in this room. Leave me alone. Oh crap, 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 jumpage. Okay, now that all the fighting is done, kind of fighting, let's get this door open. So far, this is the most disgusting. I feel like I'm in a Dark Souls, Blight Town meets Demon Souls sewer area. It's just dis. Ah. Uh... Uh, uh. What are you looking at, Sven? Oh, the golden eye. The mighty eye of Sar. The, I mean, the, the eye of alien crabs. Wait, is Sven just watching us die? Get rid of him, Sven. Wait, Sven. <gasps> no. Oh, you shall not take me to the black bars and epic music.
Now, now who closed the door? It was dark, I was alone, I felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me, thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The deflector is completely destroyed now, we'll have to be careful. Ah, that gummit, we don't have our thing anymore. Anyways, now that you're awake, can you hack stuff for me? <laughs> I never thought I'd be scared in this game, but that that was actually quite scary. <gasps> who's that? Is that uh, the the guy whose name I pronounce perfectly every time? So Balthazar, the outsider, has been expecting you. <gasps> Let's go see him. Ant Village. This place seems nice and lovely. It's so cute. Machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. It was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. Maybe he's talking about himself. He is talking about himself. Oh my gosh. It was... I was the scientist. I knew Sven was a genius. I was human. I, <laughs> I need a moment. Okay, you just take a rest in my little backpack while I end this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a like, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. See you guys in the next episode of whatever I make. Love you all. Peace.